Hey YouTube, I am making a video in the nursery and I was going to do some changing videos but first I have a, a haul. My mom and I got to go shopping. We usually do it once a year but I don't think we've done it last year but we got to go yesterday and I hadn't made a videos in a few days because I've had a stinking cold so if I sound a little weird that's why. <laughs> Not a bad cold, just an annoying cold. One that makes you talk funny and, you know, sniff, <laughs> sniffly nose and all that. Yeah, not fun, but I am on the mend. And so I thought I'd come down here in the nursery and make a, a video showing a kit that my mom bought me and some goodies that my mom mostly bought for me. <laughs> so, um... She spoils me. She definitely spoils me. But you're looking at Aiden. And I put him down here because he needs to be changed. I didn't want to change him because he looks so cute. He's looked so cute in this. But, uh, yeah, I want to change little guy. So, um, and here's my star still looking precious as ever. Just sleeping away. But, um, it's, yeah, it's not too big of a haul, but. It's a decent haul. Probably won't have a haul for a little while after this. Probably be the last one for a bit. But, um, here we go. So, we went to Marshall's. And we picked up these two little sleepers for the boys. Or this one could be for a girl. This is not showing up the right color. This is more of like a golden color. But on the tag, it says the color is Argyle. <laughs> Whatever that is. I'm guessing it looks like a... I don't know. It's not a mustard yellow. I really wouldn't know what you call it. Maybe like a golden tan or something. But anyway, I love the plain. And the button sleepers are my favorite for the Reborns. Even though I, I will still buy zip sleepers. I love the button ones and especially the, the side snap ones. And then I've got that in three months. And then I got a newborn size for the boys in this really pretty blue color and it's real cute that came with hats which i might not use the hats but they're so cute i love the ribbed material so anytime i find ribbed baby clothes i tend to want to pick them up i just love it this is brandis sterling baby they look kind of a uh, skinny <laughs> but that's okay i really like these and then I found this little outfit at Walmart. My mom had gotten this previously, and I just picked it up. This cute little romper that can be worn with or without the little shirt. Comes with it. So cute. And it's blue color. And these are little tiny whales. How stinking cute. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. <laughs> and then at Walmart, I did get a zip sleeper, but it's because I fell in love with the colors. Look how cute. And it has the little, um, I don't know what this is on the feet. I think it's supposed to be oh, a narwhal. I don't think that's a shark. It's not a shark. But anyway, whatever it is, it's stinking adorable. <laughs> um, I'm thinking it might be a stingray. Anyway, it's adorable and I fell in love with the colors. I love the big print. And then I found this one. And it's ribbed and buttons up. So it's perfect for the babies. And this one has got sharks and a little crab. So cute. Love the colors of it as well. And then my mom bought me this little sleeper from Carter's. We went to Carter's. There was a lot more in Carter's we could have bought. But we refrained. And I love this tan and uh, white gingham with the little cherries all over it. And then it has cherries on the butt. Look how cute. Little sleeping cherries. I just thought that was different. My mom bought me this from Target. And I love this. I might put this on Aiden, actually. This might be what he wears for Easter. Or I might put it on a Bowie. I haven't decided. But I love these little outfits. It's got the little fake wooden buttons, which I love. I love this. And, of course, you don't have to use this for Easter, so... But it's, I guess it's came out for Easter. Really cute and soft. 
And then they have this, like, a whole bunch of plain colored little bloomer shorts for the boys and girls at Target. And I figured that I could match these and finally use some of my onesies. Like this little onesie that Aiden has on. These little shorts would look perfect with it. That would be so cute. Little bitty shorts. They also have them in a dark charcoal gray. And I think they have them in a pink. Um, and I don't know what other colors. I didn't pay attention. But I picked these two. Little newborn size shorts. And they're only $4 a piece. I love those. Um, my mom bought me this pa pack of Nooks. I love the colors. It's like plum and purple or lavender. So cute. I mostly pick these up for Karis. Or any future babies that I get that have... I can take a modified passy or just for a display. They're really pretty. I'm sure they had them in a boy color too. Maybe like that mint. But I already have a few of these colors. So she picked me up the purple ones. We got these at Hobby Lobby when she went to buy some more... Um, paint thinner. We picked up these because they were on clearance for 99 cents. I thought they were pretty cute. She got one and I got one. And, um, she picked, we're not collecting diapers anymore, but we're, we've had to get rid of a lot of our diapers because of, they do not last. So she got the Dr. Seuss pack of Hello Bello diapers and she split them with me. So I'm just going to start changing the babies more. But we're not collecting diapers. But we couldn't. She couldn't resist this pack, so she split them with me. It comes with these two prints, really cute. And those are in size one. And then she, we stopped in Once Upon a Child, and I didn't really buy anything from there. Um, we had just been shopping all day, and we're shopped out, and we didn't really buy anything. I just bought Cody a toy from there, but she bought um this pack of dirt box. <laughs> It says get dirty, grip and rip, ride and cry. So they were cute. She split those with me as well. These are honest diapers. Or no, are these Hello Bello? They're Hello Bello. My bad. They're Hello Bello as well. And these are newborn. So I'm probably going to put one of those on Aiden. I want to change him. And then I figured every once in a while we could get some diapers on her. As long as we're not collecting a butt ton of diapers. And then... About a week ago, or last weekend, Julie and I stopped at a... My son and his girlfriend were having a vintage uh, sale at a vintage store. Like a pop-up outside sale. And we were just walking around, and I found this little cute little bunny that this um, elder lady was selling. And I fell in love with it, so I had to buy it. It was only $2 at her sale. And I love it. And then these little shoes there as well. These aren't vintage shoes at all, but... I just loved them. They're really tiny little shoes. I missed out on that. I'm getting this a, long, a couple years ago when they first came out. So I got them now. And I love them. They're so cute. Look like sweater. Little shoes with bows. And I love the color. Ooh, look. Oh my gosh. That would look cute with her outfit. But I don't think her foot can fit in this. You know what? Maybe. Sorry, I got distracted, guys. These would be cute with her outfit. Let me put y'all down for a sec. I'm going to see if I can put them on her. Uh, can your foot fit in here, Star? I don't think her feet can fit in these, guys. These are a newborn crib shoe. But I had to try. Nope. These will not fit her. I guess her feet are size one. So, not fitting, but that would have looked so cute. Perfect color. <laughs> And then, last but not least, some, the most exciting thing is my mom ordered some knee socks for us, guys. We finally found some small enough for newborns and the bigger babies. Um, I am going to wash them because I think it'll make them fit a little better. But my mom ordered me uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven pairs. And then we went to a boutique, and then we found two more pairs by a different company. But we are so excited, so let me show you the colors I have, guys. These are the ones that we got. And the only other color that I'll be searching for is off-white. They did have the lacy kind with the lace up top, but I wanted these for boys and girls. So we got the, um, the little knitted kind, and I got the color poppy, which is like a burnt 
oranges color. I love this color. And then we've got this color called basil. And it's like a real pretty sage green. I love these guys. And then she got us the gray, which will be cute for the boys. And then we got this color called bronze. I can't wait to match these up. And see, this would look cute with, yep, see, that's that color. That's so cute. I'll probably be using these a lot, so if it's annoying, I can't help it. We got some pink. We got this real pretty, it's called mist color, like a blue. And then we got this yellow color, which I love. It's called citron. And see, that would look cute with her outfit. And then by a different company at a boutique, we ha found us some of the tan ones. And then they um, don't have, this is by Little Love Bug. This brand is Little Love Bug. So we found these and then a white pair, which I, I love, love, love. These were eight bucks a pair, but that's okay. It was worth it. I can't believe we found them. I'm going to get an off-white pair. And I'm so, so, so thankful to my mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you, mom. <laughs> we were so excited. She got all the same pairs. She'll be making a haul video as well. So, go check out her haul video coming soon, guys. So, she will appreciate it. And she did upload a video the other day. Y'all should go check it out. I am so thankful for her, the little knee socks. They are so soft. And um, they are zero to six months, but I will show you guys how they fit on the newborns next. They may be just a tad bit big, but I am going to wash these. I wanted to show them first. And I know they'll fit good on a star here, and I know they'll fit good on Indy, and they'll fit really, really well on all the babies except for um, Karis. I think we'll probably be able to use them all the way up to Mrs. Valley there, looking so beautiful still. I think they'll all be able to wear them. And I'm excited to use them. And I don't care if it is summertime. I'm still going to use them. <laughs> and then, my mom bought me a kit. She always buys me a kit. At least one, several kits a year. And um, I'm trying to get my Bonnie Brown collection. The, all the babies that I want. Um, I do know that Bonnie said she's not going to be sculpting for a while. Which saddens me so much. Uh, I'm really, really sad about it. <laughs> But she said that on her social media, on Instagram. I just hope it's not too long because I can't, I can't, I can't with Bonnie. She has to come back. She has to make us more beautiful creations. But um, I did get the authentic Ellie Sue by Bonnie Brown. So my mom bought me her. So again, mom, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Um, and then I'll be after Chase next, and then I'm going to get me a Tink, and I'm also going to get me a Twin B, so those are all future babies that I want, because if the fake kits and stuff don't stop, we may lose our sculptors, and that's going to be super sad, but anyway, here's my McPherson's box. My mom purchased her kit as well. I'll let you... I'll let you guys see that, but my mom bought me this kit from McPherson's. And um, when I said on my channel, guys, that I only support authentic kits, I didn't mean that I was going to, like, unsubscribe or bully anybody or anything like that. I just meant mom and I are only choosing to ever purchase authentic kits. So, but everybody's seen Ellie Sue mostly. She's an older kit. Hold on. And she is hard to paint, but my mom's got it figured out, so I'll be having her. So I just wanted to show you guys and say thank you to my mom for purchasing her for me. But um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I can't wait to get her done. <laughs> I got a whole kit collection. She's probably going to skip the line because I've been waiting a while for her. And so I'm going to go ahead and wash her and put her in a new bag. This one is really gross and oily. So I'm going to clean her up real good. And then, oh, she's super soft. Yeah, every my mom said this kit can be a pain to paint. But I think we have it figured out. So 
We'll be doing that. She will be a girl in my collection. And then, um, yeah, that's it for now, guys. I can't believe I got her finally. <laughs> and next up for me, Bob Bonnie Brown is Chase. Oh, yeah, this feels so gross. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be cleaning her up tonight with some Dawn dish detergent and maybe an alcohol bath. And then putting her, because this has got a film on it, so that way she'll be ready for my mom to paint after I order her some eyes. I think I'm going to go with newborn gray for her or the blue. We'll see. But thank you for watching, guys, and stay tuned for my next video. I think I'm going to change Mr. Aiden. And then I did get a request for... Um, who did I get a request for? Oh, Karis, of course. Everybody loves Karis. And then the twins. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you for watching. And please go watch my mom's videos. Good for some nice comments, guys. I would appreciate it. Love you guys. Bye.